Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very, very much. A round of applause for the school band of the school for the gifted Guagualada. I mentioned earlier, this looks like an all-girls band. I stand to be corrected. They have done fantastically well. Please, let's welcome them and thank them once again. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here gathered at the School for the Gifted Guagualada, FCT, for the flag of, of the Accelerated Rehabilitation and reconstruction of dilapidated structures in FCT schools. If we may recall, for the most of the past few weeks, the Honorable Minister and the Honorable Minister of State had transversed the six area councils of the FCT for the flag of rehabilitation of roads in line with the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu GCFR. The focus this time has shifted to the education sector and marching on without missing a single step in the quest to make the FCT a capital city we can all be proud of is the Honorable Minister Federal Capital Territory, Chief Barrister Ezenwo Iyesawiki, C-O-N-G-S-S-R-S. <laughs> Honorable Minister, sir. Thank you very, very much for being here with us this afternoon and working side by side with the minister on the FCT rejuvenation project is the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Maria Mahmoud. Ma'am, you are welcome and thank you very much, ma'am. Also here with us this afternoon is the Chairman Senate Committee on the FCT Area Councils and ancillary matters, the very, very distinguished Senator David Jim Kuta. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. The Chairman House Committee on the FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters is also here with us. Please join me in welcoming Honorable Dr. Fred Agbedi. <laughs> Dr. Agbedi has also been with us all throughout this journey. Thank you very much for the support you are giving to our principal. Also here with him is the Deputy Chairman of that committee, Honorable Peter Akpanke. Thank you very much, sir, for being here with us. We must, of course, not forget the Honorable Abdurrahman Ajia. He is the House member representing Abuja South in the House of Representatives. Thank you very much, sir, for being here with us as well. Also here with us is the FCT Head of Service, Mr. Samuel Atang. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. The very, very distinguished Senator Philip Tanimu Aduda, <laughs> Minority Leader in the House of Representatives. He has also been with us on this journey throughout. And as usual, he is not here alone. He is here, of course, with a number of friends and political associates of the Honorable Minister. We welcome you all, sirs, and we thank you for the support you've given to our principal so far. Thank you very much. We must, of course, not forget the chairman of the Guagualada Area Council. He is here represented by his vice chairman, Saidu Abdullahi Zuba. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. The secretary for education, the man who has brought all of us here this afternoon, Dr. Dan Lamy Hayo. Thank you, sir. And of course, his Area Council Services Secretariat counterpart, the Honorable Beatrice Lawrence Gariki. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. The Senior Special Assistant to the Minister on Lands, Urban and Regional Planning is also here with us, S.A. Sovio Michael Chinda. Thank you, sir, for being here with us. And sitting right beside him is a Senior Special Assistant on Environment and Waste Management, Honorable Dr. Fred Barivure Paco. Thank you, sir. Our royal fathers are also here with us. We must not forget to recognize the presence of Al Haji Mohammed Lakaye, 
He is representing the Agoma of Gwagwalada. Thank you, sir. And representing the Agora of Zuba is Al Haji Mohammed Salihu Magajin Gerin Zuba. Thank you, sir, for being here with us as well. And also here with us, Honorable Minister, sir, are the beautiful, beautiful people of Gwagwalada Area Council, especially the principal staff and students of school for the gifted. We welcome you all. <laughs> Honorable Minister, sir, you have a lot of excited children. Very, very happy to see you here today, this afternoon. Please, children, give yourselves a round of applause. Without taking any more of your time, permit me at this moment to call on the Secretary for Education, FCTA, Dr. Dan Lami Hayo, to please step forward to welcome us and also give us an overview of this project. A round of applause for the number one teacher in the FCT. The Honorable Minister of FCT, the Performing Minister, Varisa Yese Wiki, the Honorable Minister of State, FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud Munkuri. The distinguished Senator House Committee on Area Council and his colleagues here present, the Chief of Staff, the Head of Service, all other invited guests, including the representative of the Emir of Guagualada, teachers, students, security men and friends assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh it is my profound honor and a privilege to welcome you all to this important occasion as we gather here to embark on a significant journey toward enhancing the education and infrastructure within the federal capital territory firstly i wish to extend my heartfelt welcome to the honorable minister for federal capital territory his excellency barisan wuske who is present today, not only underscore the importance of this initiative, but also reflect the Honorable Minister's commitment transforming, to transforming the educational landscape of the capital territory. Today marks the beginning of an ambitious endeavor as we flag up the rehabilitation of several schools across the FCT. This initiative is not just about brick and mortar, it is about laying the foundation for a brighter future for our children. It is a testament to the honor minister's dedication to providing an environment that is conducive to learning, one that nurtures the dreams and inspiration of our young minds. This school project is aimed at revitalizing educational infrastructures in schools within the capital territory. This initiative by the honor minister uh, for causes of rehabilitation and construction of various school facilities, such as classrooms, laboratories, libraries, administrative blocks, toilets, uh, water, wa water supply. The Honorable Minister may wish to have a brief inspection of the student dining hall now behind us to know the level of dilapidation of the facilities and lay the foundation of the new dining hall and the kitchen. This goal is to enhance the learning environment, promote educational excellence and ensure the students and the teachers have access to quality, fa quality facilities conducive to their academic and teachers' development. Education is, the education is the cornerstone of any society, the key that unlocks the potential within which child empowering them to achieve their fullest potential. As we embark on this journey of rehabilitation, we are reaffirming our commitment to ensuring that every child in the FCT has access to quality education to safe and stimulating learning environment where they can grow, thrive, and transform into the leaders of tomorrow. Permit me, Excellency Sir, to reach, uh, permit me, Excellency Sir, to permit me to state that the Honorable Minister recently graciously approved the disbursement of a total sum of 280 million 
296,000 as a scholarship to 13,964 fresh and existing benefiting indigent students across all level of education in the FCT. Your Excellency, sir, thank you very much. This is to ensure that no child is left behind. Also, for the first time in 25 years, the school sport prospect was held successfully. All these are evidence of the Honorable Minister's commitment to the total development of our future leaders. As we proceed with today's ceremony, let us reflect on the importance of our mission. Let us be inspired by the potential impact of our collective effort. And let us look forward to the successful completion of this project as we continue to work hand in hand towards a brighter, more prosperous future for the Federal Capital Territory. Once again, sir, I wish to express our profound gratitude to Her Excellency Baris Enese Wiki for being here today. Your support and presence signify the beginning of a new chapter in our case for educational excellence. Let us move forward, united in our purpose, and steadfast in our resolve to make a lasting difference in the lives of our children. Thank you, sir. That was Dr. Danlami Hayo, the Secretary for Education, FCTA. And he has told us in very clear terms that we are not focused just on building roads. We are here as well for education and the future of our children. Another round of applause for the Honorable Minister of the FCT. At this point, we will be taking the contractor's commitment for results. This is where the contractor will tell us how well he will perform his duties. Therefore, I would like to welcome engineer Osondo Ekwekwe of Trizone Nigeria Limited to please step forward. Good afternoon, everybody. His Excellency, Barrister Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, CON, the Honorable Minister of the Federal capital territory. Dr. Maria Mahmoud, the Honorable Minister of State, FCT. Dr. Danlami Hajoya, our direct boss, the Secretary of Education, and other mandate secretaries here present. Please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. His Excellency, sir, on behalf of Trizone Nigeria Limited and the management of Trizone Nigeria Limited, we wish to congratulate you for yet another giant stride in the development of education in FCT. We want to say a big thank you for remembering the school for the gifted. In our schedule of work here, when we came to take over two weeks ago, we found out that this school has a population of over 630 students, comprising of male and female students. It will surprise you to know that this school may look good outwardly, but what you see inside is totally it's a total mess. The school inside is in shambles. It will equally surprise you to know that the two buildings that are good here is the church and the mosque. And this we are done by self-help. People came from outside to do. The students of this school defecate outside the hostel. You will barely breathe when you go behind the hostel. The water system, the closet, the bedroom, they are not functioning. The environment is totally not permissible for human habitation. So for remembering this school, they've been very grateful. The students have been very grateful and they, they've extended their uh, appreciation. We have a total of 16 classroom blocks to renovate, to reconstruct. We have eight semi-detached two-bedroom um, apartments that are totally messed up. 
we have about three um, full detached three bedroom apartments. We have um, a multi purpose hall. We have this dining here that is dilapidated. We have a newly constructing, a, 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 an ongoing construction of a new dining hall and kitchen. We have um, the laboratories, both physics, chemistry, and other laboratories. We have the home economics laboratories and many other buildings to fix here. We have a total of 1.8 kilometer perimeter fence that is totally falling. We learned that the herdsmen come here when the school is in a recess. They come here and make this place their habitation. And then we found out that the, the director of the state security here has reported that it's not safe for the student to remain unprotected. So when we took over, we decided to start with fencing and rebuilding the fence. We started about two weeks ago. Because the students were in section, we didn't want to disturb them. But thank God by this weekend, they will depart and work with start in earnest. We want to assure you, His Excellency, that we will do everything within our power to deliver in time and in quality. We will not disappoint you. We signed an oath of performance with the secretary yesterday, all the contractors. They are here. We agreed that we are not going to fail you. They've all taken side when we, uh, when we took a um, census. We found out that all the contractors, 19 of us, have taken possession of sites and work have started in all the schools in earnest. So on behalf of the contractors, we have pledged not to fail you. We will complete this project within record time and meet up with global acceptable uh, building practices. Once again, His Excellency accept our hearty congratulations and our commitment to deliver in time and in quality. God bless you, sir. Thank you very, very much, Engineer Osondo Ekwekwe. With what the contractor has reeled out, we indeed must thank the Honorable Minister for embarking on this journey of rehabilitation of schools in the FCT. Once more, let us say a very, very big thank you to the Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory. Thank you, sir. At this point, we will be taking our goodwill messages. And because we are pressed for time and with respect for our brothers and sisters in the spirit of Ramadan, we will be taking just one goodwill message. And that will be coming from the very distinguished Senator David Jim Kuta, Chairman, Chairman FCT Committee on FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters. A round of applause for him, please. The Honorable Minister, Federal Capital Territory, Barista Yeso Wike, CON, the Honorable Minister for State for FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, my co chairman in the House of Representatives, Honorable Frederick Abwede, and the Vice Chairman and other members of the National Assembly. Also, let me recognize the presence of my senior brother, a senior colleague, Senator Philip Aduda, a host senator of the Hep City, the Royal Fathers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me stand on the existing protocol. To me, Honorable Minister, when I saw the invitation yesterday for this schedule, something came to my mind. I was thinking, why education? I now remember quickly that you are once a minister of education. I said, you have got me again and again. Uh, once again, let me congratulate the people of FCT and the education sector. Honorable Minister, this project is wonderful. You are building a nation, a great nation that in the future we are going to see. I want to thank you. For us in the National Assembly, both in the Senate and the House of Reps, we demanded of the leadership. Our Senate President goes with a copy of the Uncommon President and the House of Representatives Speaker. 
we are committed to encourage you. That is why you see we work day and night to immediately pass the budget for the 2024 fiscal year. Uh, the people at FCT, I, I want to assure you something. You see, the contractors are like what he said. They are committed to deliver this project according to the time and the terms of the agreement they signed with the FCT. The stakeholder, you need to come in. You need to key in too. I was expecting to see something different. Some of the stakeholders, I didn't see them here, especially the chairman. The minister is doing so much for education. He has intervened when the school, the teachers are on strike. He has intervened and I expected to see the chairman present here. I didn't see him, of which is not acceptable. We need encouragement from all stakeholders to move FCT forward. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to spend so much of your time. I want to thank you all. Honorable Minister, God bless you. Thank you very, very much. I want a round of applause for the distinguished Senator David Jim Kuta. At this point, the Honorable Minister has directed that we indeed have to listen to the voice of the Chairman House Committee on FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters, the Honorable Dr. Fred Akwebi. A round of applause for him, please. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister, and the Honorable Minister of State, uh, my colleagues, serving and non-serving, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my colleague from the Senate has spoken. I adopt all that he has said. And as a teacher, I'm grateful that once again, there's intervention in our sector. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister, we know your capacity. And we are ready as committees to work with you. Thank you and God bless us. A man of few words, but very, very great commitment. And a round of applause for Honorable Dr. Fred Abedi. At this point, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to call on the Honorable Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, to kindly step forward to give her remarks. A round of applause for the Honorable Minister of State. The Senate Committee Chairman on FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters, the House Committee Chairman of FCT Area Council and Ancillary Matters, other members of the National Assembly present here, His Excellency the Honorable Minister of FCT, the Sarkinyak Empire Konkore, you have to be reminded about his title. The Chief of Staff to the Honorable Minister, the Head of Service, FCT, Mr. U.S. Atan, Executive Secretary, uh, Mandate Secretary, Education, and the um, Area Council Service Secretariat, our Royal Fathers that are here present, all distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, good afternoon to you all. Uh, because of the nature of the weather, and also the fasting period, I think we have to shorten all that is not so necessary that must be said. Uh, actually, mine is to appreciate this administration under the able leadership of His Excellency Barrister Wilson Wiki, who is also standing on the mandate of His Excellency Mr. President to achieve the Renewed Hope Agenda. Within this year, we are, this is the third time we are in Gogolada. The first one is to assess the security situation of this area councils, where we held a town hall meeting with all the stakeholders.
to assess the situation and to do the necessary things. And I'm sure you will testify to that, that we have really gotten a significant improvement on the issue of security in FCT. So we say kudos to His Excellency, our principal. So also, we came back on the infrastructural development. All this area council were choosing roads to their tests and they think they are the most important one they need to be constructed or to be dualized. We were in all the six area councils and then work has already started. And today we are here back in Guagualada for the continuous work and achievement. And now we're looking at education. I've had distinguished said it's because uh, His Excellency was Minister of State for Education. That's one factor. Secondly, we know education is the bedrock of development of any nation. And it's also the cornerstone of progress. And these children, they are special gifts from Almighty to us. They are the leaders of tomorrow. They are the ambassadors of the nation. So they need a conducive and very suitable place for their learning, for them to achieve their dreams. Among those ladies and gentlemen are lawyers, are doctors, are governors, are house of reps, senators, teachers, and so many other people. So they deserve this as a uh, part of their right, so to say. We are happy to have this flag of for reconstruction and also rehabilitation of some of the dilapidated builders. Uh, this is just the beginning, as you know, Mr. Project is on board. And as he has said, we will soon come back to Guagualada for the next achievement. That's when we look at health. And that's why you hear our voice more. So I welcome everybody. And I wish you a safe trip back to your various destinations. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. The Honorable Minister of State has spoken with so much passion for education. And this is not surprising, considering she was a Commissioner for Education in Kano State. A round of applause for the Honorable Minister of State, FCT. Honorable Minister of State, Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, now for the high point of this afternoon's event, and that is the keynote address from the Honorable Minister of the FCT and former flag of, of this construction work. Therefore, join me in welcoming the Honorable Minister, FCT, Chief Barista Ezewo Iyesom Wiki, CON GSSRS. Thank you very much. The chairman, Senate committee, and area council, Sarangulari Matas, my brother, civil senator, thank you for honoring our invitation. The chairman, house committee, and area council, Sarangulari Matas, my dear brother, this honorable friend, Abidi and members of the House of Reps that are here, the Honorable Minister of State Education, members of National Assembly, Ali, the Civil Senator, Philip Adudua, the traditional ruler here present, Monday secretaries that are here, the head of service, the Commission of Police and other heads of security agencies that are here, Gentlemen of the press, my dear, very good students and management of this gifted school. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank the Bande Secretary of Education for carrying out his assignment as required. The Honorable Minister of State has said that this is the third time we have come to Guagualada 
as she said, we came the first time to have interaction with stakeholders on the issue of security. And the second one we came was to flag off the construction of one of the roads in Guangalada. Today we're here to talk about flagging off of rehabilitation and reconstruction of 19 schools, 19 schools. Uh, we, we decided to choose this place and to flag off all at a time. We don't need to go from one school to the other. So have it in mind that it is not only this school, it is 19 schools that were carried out rehabilitation and reconstruction. Now these 19 schools um, is based from the supplementary budget of 2023. And I want to assure you for the 2024 budget, we're also going to take another 20 schools for rehabilitation and reconstruction. Let me thank the National Assembly members for expeditiously passing our 2024 budget. I want on behalf of the Minister of State and the entire FCT, thank you most sincerely for the expeditions where you passed our budget, which means that you really want us to start work without any hesitation. Let me say clearly that all we are doing is the marching order of Mr. President. Because Mr. President has said yes, he has seen our good works in the terms of infrastructure of road, but we cannot only concentrate on road. Like Minister of State said, education is key to any development. Without education, then you are not talking about any country. So education is key, and it is of the mandate of Mr. President that we must not only also education, we must also take health. And I can assure you, now that the budget has been passed, we are coming back to Guagalada for the General Hospital in Guagalada to make sure that you are given the best. And let me assure the contractors that nobody will be owed. As, as I came in on the file and left the office, I had made sure that your mobilization has been sent to the bank so that you don't need to worry yourself. That has been done this afternoon. I have told the Treasury that will be tied anybody who sabotages the efforts of this present government led by Ahmed Bola Tinibu, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank all of you and I thank the students and I want to assure you that all the expectations will be met. It is not only access to education. If you give access to education without quality, then you have not given education. While we are providing access, we must also provide quality. And the quality entails that one, the environment must be conducive, you must have, your, your dining must be looking, something that is habitable, the hostels, and even where you take care of yourselves is very, very important. So they are sure that we'll give you the best. We're looking into the teachers too, how we're going to provide quality teachers to teach our children. Mr. President has said, and that is the essence of the need hope agenda. All those times you have lost hope, the hope is back under the government of Ahmed Bola Tinibu. On this note, because the weather is very hot, let me invite the distinguished chairman of the Senate and the House Committee and other members and the Minister of State and the traditional ruler to join us as to the glory of God will flag off the rehabilitation and reconstruction of 19 schools in FCT. Thank you and God bless you.